in Middlesbrough's 121-year history. Although they have been here once before, seven years ago, in the old Zenith Data Systems Cup, they lost that day 1-0 to Chelsea. Incidentally, no North East team has ever won this competition. Newcastle in 1976, Sunderland in 1985, losing finalists. Brian Robson trying to put that record straight on behalf of Middlesbrough today. But faced by a man who is back at Wembley for the fifth time in six years in his short managerial career, Leicester's Martin O'Neill. Never in a game like this, so hard. Referee Martin Bodman from Cornwall checks his watch, and the 37th League Cup final is underway. Middlesbrough in red shirts and white shorts. Leicester all in blue today. And the only trophy they've ever won in their history was the League Cup 33 years ago. The game being watched by an estimated worldwide TV audience of 100 million. Well, and as we thought, Kamba is right underneath your shoulder right away. They're going to try and make it 10 v 10. Mourinho was the match winner when the teams met in the Premiership just three weeks ago at Pilbert Street. And they know they couldn't risk Leicester today giving him that kind of freedom again. Fleming's missed kick, retrieved by Beck. Emerson. Musto, an important man for Middlesbrough. They were very relieved that he came through his fitness check. Eski. Parker, key man in the centre of Leicester's midfield. But Beck and Ravanelli link again for Middlesbrough. Fleming, the Irishman. Ravanelli just checks to see where the nearest defender is. Has room to swing it out to Juninho. His first opportunity to run at players, and he wins the free kick. Now that's a ridiculous decision. He should have done anyway, yes. I mean, he's just hacked him, come on. I mean, Martin Bodden's a referee that does like the play to flow, Alan, but that, that's as much a free kick as you're ever likely to see today. I didn't even look at the referee. I was so convinced that Cormark had brought him down. Lennon wins it off Hignan. Walsh, the Leicester City captain, his fifth time here with his club. And Whitlow back in the side after a four-month absence with a knee injury. It's a good challenge by Musto. That's the reason they want him in the side. He had some real steel to their talented midfield. What they've done Leicester early in the match, Al, the Emil Heskey. Now I think he will move up front with Clarish, perhaps in five, ten minutes, but they've dropped him off on this left hand side, almost playing five across the midfield. I think anxious not to lose anything early on. Whitlow's clearance, too high for Claridge. Middlesbrough, of course, have had a wonderful month out of the bottom three of the Premiership into the FA Cup semi-final. They've got that big occasion against Chesterfield a week today and here in the first major final of the season. Leicester City on 39 Premiership points. Look as though they are almost safe for another season at the top level as well when most had expected them to go straight down. Manning stays on the ground in that challenge. The ball smashed him straight in the face and uh, a little bit of concussion. Well, it's the way he's catchy. Flush in the face. Just a little left hook, little jab. Just stunned him a touch. He's always anxious there when a player goes down as quickly and as convincingly as that. Well, there's some speculation that Fleming might lose his place in the starting lineup to. The Welsh international Clayton Blackmore, who is one of the substitutes today. Well, let's have a look if Mr. Bobman would indeed have given a free kick here, Andy. Well, I think Janino's away. He's in front of Kama. There's a leg come across. I mean, that's no a argument. Free kick that you're going to see today. But that was the one little worry about when you pick someone in man for man mark. What you can't do is stand 15 yards off them. 
and basically let him get the ball. You can't let Janine you get the ball and run at you. Now that's why it's a difficult. People might think at home it's easy for somebody just to man mark someone. It's not. It's such a disciplined thing to try and do. Cam Mark, if he needed a lesson in it, was given a little sharp reminder there of the difficulty he's going to have to do with that job he has. Well, it's a role he's never filled before for Leicester City. He has in uh, Swedish club football, but never at this level. Whitler. Heskey. Pulmark coming forward this time. Ravenelli came to dispossess him, but Whitlow has it back for Leicester. Lennon. Hallmark. It's a very good tackle by Cox. Juninho surrounded by three blue Leicester shirts. Ravenelli's given it away to Lennon. Is it? Parker. Grayson making the run down the right. Did well to keep it in. Well, impressive play. By Grayson and in particular by Middlesbrough's Robbie Musto. That's why you, he's got, he talked about it. When you've got such flair and you've got such forward thinking players in there, Alan, you do need someone who does the dog's job, who does the draft, and that's what Robbie Musto plays in this side for. The lesser known of Middlesbrough's Italians, Gianluca Festa, helps it out to Fleming, now recovered from that blow in the face. And now the captain, an inspiration in many ways of Middlesbrough's recent revival, Nigel Pearson. Cox looks for Beck. Challenge from behind by Pryor. This is Robbie Musto. Juninho. Paul Marks right on his toes again, but he links beautifully with Beck. And now Hignett. And they just split the two teammates with that ball. Emerson. Hignett with a little flick on Walsh, was close to him though. And Whitlow clears his lines. Claridge is going to have a lot of running to do today. He's the uh, lone striker at the moment anyway in Leicester's formation. Now you can expect Heskey to join him. Fleming to Ravanelli. Lester waits for Fleming to go on the overlap down the left. And he's done well against Grayson. Pryor with the challenge. What a ball for Fester. Must have been 40, 50 yards. I think both sides have started pretty confidently, I have to say. Both looking to get on the ball, both looking to use it well. Here's Emerson. Well, it was ambitious. Five goals this season, but he's only scored once in the last 21 games, and that was a penalty. Well, the first real shot in anger. Just over seven minutes gone. Why not? He came a long, long way. He's got great ability from that kind of range. Just a little bit underneath it too early. It was always rising. Eventful first season in England for him. He's had some great displays, but of course he's gone missing a couple of times. His wife apparently found uh, Rio more attractive than Middlesbrough. I don't think why. Grayson getting treatment there for Leicester. So Leicester City at the moment have just ten men on the field. Grayson, whose goal, of course, in the semi-final away to Wimbledon, and then their place here today. Musto, Beck, Ravanelli, Eski finding Parker. He's been in the form of his career in recent weeks, Gary Parker. Looks for the run here from Heskey. Pearson knows he's behind him and won't get an easy ride. That's good play from Nigel Pearson. That's experience for you. Youth against experience. Experience wasn't going to be flustered there. Good turn by Ignan. Whitlow played the ball against Ravanelli, so that's Leicester City's throw. He's only had three reserve games and has missed the last 24 first-team matches, Mike Whitlow, so it's obviously a risk 
on Martin O'Neill's part to play him today, but he felt he needed his balance on the left-hand side. Back's been a problem position with injuries to uh, Olafon, amongst others. Leicester, of course, unable to pick their strongest team today. No Matt Elliott, Ian Marshall, Steve Guppy, all those three players cup tied. who might have had a place in the defence, left out, not even on the bench. Had one win each when they met in the league, Leicester winning 2-0 at the Riverside back in December, but then going down 3-1 at Filbert Street only three weeks ago, and this little fellow ran the show. But this time, Juninho has lost possession. Grayson happily recovered. Like a foul by Beck. The referee has waved play on though. Parker for Leicester. Muzzy is it? Only Heskey in the penalty area for Leicester at the moment. Very calm defending by Neil Cox. Early throw out. Ignat. Ravanelli. Beyond him, Emerson has joined the attack too. And he looks for Juninho on the left. It wasn't an easy ball for the Brazilian to control. Even Brazilians sometimes can't control the ball when it's fizzed at that height. Tell you what, that was a lovely break, Rohan. Great thinking by Schwartz for the goal. Released Hignett very quickly and had Ravanelli not miscontrolled it. And Leicester was struggling to get back in numbers. So nothing wrong with that challenge.